Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video today about how to determine if a function is odd, even, or neither by looking at its graph. So you may not have the function itself to work with, but now we're given a graph. And there's three rules for this. There's the y-axis, which is vertical symmetry. If, if, that is, uh, if there's y-axis symmetry, the function is even, which means you can reflect over the y-axis and the graph would be the same. And there's origin symmetry, which is rotational symmetry, if the function is odd, which means we could turn the graph like 180 degrees, and it might be the exact same graph you had before. So just think about it, you could turn the graph on its side, and it would still equal the same thing. And then if there's neither y-axis symmetry or origin symmetry, the function is neither even nor odd. So now the best way to do this is just to look through examples. So we've got this parabola here, it's facing down. Um, and let's just go through the symmetries. Does it have y-axis symmetry? Well, if I reflect it over the y-axis, so if I was to uh, turn my page in half at this y-axis right here, this one right there, at this line, would the graph look the exact same? And that answer is yes, because I could rotate it right here and have the same graph, it means that it is y-axis symmetry, which means the function's even. All right, so now we got the next one. Um, does this have y-axis symmetry? Could I reflect over the y-axis and have the same function? No, if I was to reflect over the y-axis, this axis right here, I would be left with this right here, and I would have nothing over there. So there's definitely not y-axis symmetry. All right, now let's think about origin rotational symmetry. So what the origin symmetry is means I could just turn it on its side at the origin and it would equal itself at some point. So let's think about it. Well, if I turned it 90 degrees, I'd be left with something like this. If I turned it 180, I'd be left with something like this. If I turn it again, I'm left with something like this. And let me erase these. And then finally, if I turned it 360 degrees, of course it would be the same. So that doesn't even count. So there's no origin symmetry. I can't rotate this graph and get and be left with the exact same one. And now I'll show you an example of what origin symmetry does look like is this right here. We could turn it 90 degrees and what would we be left with? Well, it'd be looking like, hmm, let me think, it'd be like this, I think, and then like this or something. So that wouldn't be it. But then if we turn it 180 degrees, we'd be left, so we're turning it right over here we'd be left with the exact same graph that we're looking at right now. And that means that if there's origin symmetry, so it is odd. So this function is odd, this function is even, and because this function had neither um, y-axis symmetry or origin symmetry, this function is neither. So those are the three rules. If you can memorize this, you'd be fine on any test or anything that you're gonna have to do. Just be careful with the origin symmetry. It's sometimes hard to imagine you physically rotating the graph. But this, as you know, is your y equals x cubed. So just know that a cubic function is going to be odd. And know that the square root function is neither one, just in case. And this is also um, a parabola. So parabolas are generally going to be even. So the best way to do it is just to see practice problems. And hope this was able to help. Let me know if you have any questions.